Hey, this is Jada, and I want to talk about uh, something that maybe if you're a beginner, you haven't heard this very much, but uh, it's an all it's always an ongoing debate between uh, seasoned or quote professional musicians and younger or or beginner musicians or or people that haven't um, learned all their keys. And that topic is transposing or transposition. Now, what that means is there's, it can only happen on a keyboard or a uh, organ that has a transpose button. And what it means is the song or the singer, sorry, can be singing in the key of C. But if I don't know how to play in the key of C, um, I can hit this button and it will allow me to program the keyboard really fast to sing or for me to play, maybe I can play in D flat or play in B flat. And so I'm in play, I'm playing, let's say D flat cause it's right next to it. Uh, I can't play in C, but I can play in D flat. So I will transpose the keyboard up that, so that I'm playing the notes in D flat, but the actual sound of the notes, actual sound of what's being played is uh, the key of C. And so um, some of the pros and cons, obviously, if you cannot play in all of your keys, um, that's helpful. And so that would be a pro in favor of transposing. Um, but if you, it can also be a con because if you handicap yourself and never practice or never play uh, in private in the key of C, you'll never be able to play in the key of C because you're always used to just transposing. And so, you know, while in that moment, if you get caught up, um, somebody just starts singing a song that you were not prepared to play, there was no practice time, no rehearsal. And you know, this happens quite a bit, um, even in church, but let's say you're somewhere else and, and uh, you know, somebody calls out a tune, you know the song uh, and you know it in the original key. And sometimes people can't sing it in the original key um, cause it's too high or too low. And so for that moment, you go ahead and transpose it to the key you can play it in. Well, that's handy for that moment. But what you really need to do is take this transpose button. And so like we're saying the key of C, well, let me see. No, that's the wrong way. See, I'm not really that great at transposing because I don't do it that much. So now I'm playing right now in the key of D flat, but it's uh, it's showing up like I'm playing in C. And I, no, don't let that make you think I was uh, transposing all this other time. No, I actually, the key I'm telling you I'm playing in is the key that I'm playing in. But right now, as you can see, I am hitting, I'm telling you I'm hitting the D flat, but it's showing up on the screen as C because I hit the transpose button. Now, if I set it, reset it, that's me hitting the C, exact same sound overall. So now I, if I, if, since this is my favorite key, you know, all this is being played, you're seeing it in, in uh, C. So you saw that in C. I played it in D flat. Now that is one of the things that uh, you could call that a pro. But what would be a much more handy usage of transposing would be uh, listening to songs on the record, and you, and you know you can you can do this. This is me playing. Maybe that's what you hear on the record. Well, if you transpose it, and I'm gonna go ahead and transpose this uh, so that you see it in D flat. Uh, what do I do? There we go. Yeah, so now I'm, I'm playing in the key of D. Now, 
the thing about it is I was playing in D, but you're still hearing the sound in, in D flat. Well, if you're playing with a uh, uh, the record uh, along with YouTube, uh, along with your MP3 collection, it's not going to change key. But if you want to stretch yourself and and push yourself, and I challenge you as growing musicians to do uh, to go ahead and push yourself, you can play along with it because all you have to do is program the keyboard to match what is on the record, and you can go through all twelve keys doing that so it, will it take time of course is it tedious of course but on the end of it you're going to start seeing chords and this is a pro of transposing in your practice um you're going to see uh chords and connections that you didn't think you could use in other keys you're going to start seeing oh my goodness i can do that there and it's going to start putting uh things together in your mind and grow you as a musician but you still got a chance to play along with the cd so um, that is one benefit for sure of transposing uh, in your practice. Now, I, I, again, I don't recommend transposing when you perform. However, I'm not against it because sometimes people need to get through service. Um, I don't think we need to use it as a crutch, but you know, if it, if it gets you through that moment, go ahead and then push yourself be greater right along the way. So, um, you know, you're going through all 12 keys. Um, this is me in the key of e right now. Um, if I didn't know, if I didn't know how to play, and E didn't used to be something I enjoyed playing in, but recently I've been getting, uh, I, I'm really starting to enjoy playing in this key. But, some stuff that Glenn Gibson was doing, like this right here. He was playing in E, but he was kind of using chords that I would have used. And this probably will be another video way down. That's not even what I'm intending to talk about, but um, it applies to why you want to play in every key as opposed to transposing. I would play those key or uh, those chords in D flat. But he used them in the key of E because we were here and then he went to the seven. He went to the minor one. Either way, he used that. He used the seven like it was the two and then a five. And then he went to one for that split second. So now I can see because if I transpose that, I wouldn't have known to make that connection, I would have put that in the key that I'm used to playing it in and probably have already been playing that move uh, in a way that I already knew it. But because I went ahead and played the song like the CD uh, or the, the video in this case, um, I learned that I can put what's in uh, D flat or C sharp, I can throw that in in the middle of E and and it's going to give me a different flavor. But again, now the extra step would be to keep playing the song along with the record, but put it in all 12 keys so I can see that connection in every key. So again, those were some just some quick thoughts on uh, transposition. Uh, let's, let's not try to beat up people that use it let's try to encourage them to use it in a more positive way go ahead and use it in your practice and and shy away from it or get away from it in your performance because i guarantee you it will catch you up there's going to be an event and let's say you blaze on the keys every time you know sorry this is my key you can blaze in d flat or you can blaze in a flat and you're always on a keyboard well Nobody knows, uh, the, the common listener, they don't know well about transposing. And if, you, and if you're always transposing and then one day there's a piano and they keep saying, play, play, play. Well, they mess around and sing in, in G. You know, you're stuck because there's no transpose on the piano. And so you risk getting exposed. And then you know how harsh people can be. Um, 
and no matter how great you could play in A flat or D flat, when you couldn't play that song that one time in in G, then suddenly people are looking at you funny, like why why can't you do it? I thought you could do this and blah blah blah. And so don't get caught up. Don't get caught uh, not being able to function even on the piano or an organ. Sometimes a piano. Uh, I mean, sometimes the keyboard's not available. Sometimes there's not transpose on an organ. You're going to have to play in the key. Uh, so again, use transpose for your practice. Get away from using it in your performance. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. There's other content that you might like as well. If you have questions, uh, leave a comment in the comment section or email me about your questions or if you have uh, an interest in learning, email me at jadaonpiano at gmail.com. You have a great day and happy practicing.